My name is Tyson Mason. Uh, I started working for Ogden City Fire Department as a firefighter paramedic in the year 2009. I got hired shortly after I graduated from Weber State's paramedic program. I currently work on the rescue truck as a paramedic. Um, we rotate onto the fire engines as well. I started five years ago and kind of my whole purpose in getting involved in this kind of work was to fly on a helicopter as a paramedic one day. So that's kind of the first step is getting hired with a ground paramedic service somewhere and then getting the years and experience to where you're marketable to a life flight or air med type company. To get a job with like a flight company, they're now requiring flight paramedic certification, which is a critical care level uh, certifications. So I decided to take the critical care transport class because it's a step above a paramedic level certification. We started off online. We had so much reading that we had to do and then we had an exam that was due at the end of the week. It was uh, typically about 60 to 70 pages of text that we had to read and study and I would spend, well, I'd say anywhere from six to 10 hours depending on what material it was studying for those exams throughout the week. So there were seven weeks of online training and then we had one week of on-campus skills and very in-depth and um, detailed just lecture. The stuff that you learn more are like pathophysiology of illnesses and disease, day-long progression of diseases and illnesses to where you start learning blood values, blood gas values and stuff, and how to correct those when they're abnormal. The critical care is a lot of catching illnesses before they progress beyond control. Skill-wise, you learn inserting chest tubes, actually making an incision in their chest wall, putting a tube in uh, to allow for air or blood to escape. Uh, also, we learned pericardiosynthesis, which is draining blood from around the heart. So you actually insert a needle through the chest into the area surrounding the heart to drain blood. As far as the format goes, it's great for working in this environment because our schedules are so different depending from department to department that it allows us to kind of do it on our own time. The week on campus was very strenuous and um, required a lot of, of time and dedication into learning the material but uh, it was very well done, very well put together. Hit the first two days really hard with a lot of material but the, the last few days were a lot of building on that foundation that they, they started the first two days so it was actually really well done and I did enjoy the format quite a bit. Now that I have this training, I'll be able to apply for Life Flight and Air Med or any other critical care transport company. Anyone that's uh, working in, in the field currently as a street paramedic that wants to expand their horizons and fly on a helicopter one day it would be a perfect recommendation for this class.